Well, in the previous video, we did questions um, questions 1.1 on the service. Now in this video, we're going to do uh, question 1.2. But the question says solve for x and y. If 3x minus y equals to 4 and uh, x squared plus 2xy minus y squared equal to negative 2. Now this is, uh, so question, I'm going to write question 1.2. So mainly, mainly we're looking for the values of x and the value of y, okay? Uh, we need to find the value of x and we also need to find the value of y simultaneously. So now uh, we have given that um, uh, for the first equation, equations we have like 3x uh, minus y equal to four. And then the second equation is uh, x squared uh, uh, plus two xy uh, minus y squared equal to two. To negative two. So I prefer to label my equations. I call this one equation, equation one, and that's equation two. So now, um, this is how we work so simultaneous equation. First, the, uh, we're going to take one for one equation and then um, work it out, meaning I simplify that, that equation in order to have, uh, to make one variable subject of the formula. Then we can solve that uh, the content of that uh, new equation into another equation. Let me uh, let me show you how to. So, like from the two equations, I prefer to take equation one. From equation one, I have like three x minus y equals to four, right? Now I need to select. We have two variables in this one single equation. The variable is the variables are x and y. Now I need to express one variable in terms of the other. What does it mean? It means I want to write my equation the form x equal to or y equal to. Okay. Now in this situation, I think even though uh, any variable will work, I prefer to select a variable that's going to be easier to solve with, to work out with. In this case, it must be y. Why am I saying that? I don't want to have fractions in my equation. So that's what I can do. I prefer to keep to move this uh, negative y over. Okay. Over and then move the positive four over. So this would make uh, 3x uh, minus four equal to y. So we can write like y equal to 3x minus four. This is our new e equation one. Then we can take this new equation, substitute it into uh, equation two, okay? Therefore equation two, which is uh, given by uh, what we see given by this, I will substitute the values of y by the content of the value of y now. So this will be written as um, uh, uh, x squared plus 2xy minus y squared equal to negative two. Now, there I'll write x squared. Uh, so now it means in the, in the set of, instead of me writing y, I will substitute by the values of y. The values of y is like three x minus four. So I write here three x minus four. Now I can expand now the equation. You can see now the equation is um, consists of only one variable. You know when you have one variable within an equation, you can solve it. But if you have two variables like here, you cannot really solve the equation. You don't know the value of the equation yet. Then you cannot find the numerical value for the variable. Now this is what I can do. Then let's uh, times. So I'm gonna do two x times three x, two x times negative four, and this will make. Uh, 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 6x squared minus 8x and a negative uh, 3x minus 4 times 3x minus 4. I can move the negative 2 over, it becomes positive 2 equal to 0. It is important to note over here for this part here. Note that uh, 3x squared minus 4 to the power of 2, this is not. Uh, I want to have to move my my board a little bit this way. This is not uh, excuse me. There are so three x there, so this is not three uh, x to the power of two minus four to the power of two. You cannot do that. Okay. In this situation, we have to expand it this way. So you can see uh, because it is of the form like you know when we have, when when they say a squared, this means a times e. Okay. So we want to do uh, eight hour is like three x minus four. We want to do three x minus four times three x minus four. Then uh, this means we're going to um, expand again x squared like six x squared 
minus 8x minus we do 3x times 3x, 3x times 3x here, it makes uh, 9x. I keep the brackets still, 9x squared, uh, 3x times negative 4, that makes uh, negative 12x, and then negative 4 times 3x, that makes 12x, and negative 4 times negative 4, that makes 16, 16. And then plus 2 equal to 0. Now this makes what? x squared plus 6x squared minus 8x. Uh, Um, now we can drop the brackets, okay? So when we drop the brackets, we need to be careful with the sign, this sign outside the brackets, because the sign that affects the signs of everything within the bracket. So this will become negative nine x squared, positive twelve x, positive twelve x, and negative negative sixteen plus two equal to zero. So now we can uh, combine like terms. I prefer to underline like this. I make sure I don't forget anything. So I will underline all the like terms. Okay, the term that end with x squared. So if we do um, x squared plus six x squared, we make seven x squared, seven x squared minus nine x squared. This is equal to uh, negative two x squared. So negative two x squared here. Now I can underline the, the terms as end with x. So I can underline those twice. To make the difference, and then that makes a uh, negative eight x plus twelve x plus twelve x. This is equal to sixteen uh, x. So that makes uh, positive sixteen x. And then uh, we can also look at the constant terms. They are uh, negative sixteen, and then uh, positive two. This is equal to uh, uh, negative fourteen. So minus fourteen here equal to zero. Now. Uh, I prefer to move my screen to this side. We have some space. Um, just put a board like this, and then uh, this is what I have now. Uh, uh, we have like not that we have like negative two x squared plus sixteen x minus fourteen equal to zero, right? Now we notice that uh, each term. As I said, it's better to simplify as you're working out with the problem than working out to larger numbers and simplify the end, okay? So now, for me, before I can factorize the, the equation as this, but it's gonna be quite cumbersome. So what I can do, I notice that uh, um, the only, all the only, each term in the equation is a multiple of two. And because the first term is starts with negative two, I prefer to divide each term by negative two, okay? I divide here by negative two. Uh, and then the new equation will be x squared uh, minus 8x minus 7 equal to 0. Oh, now the equation becomes simple. We can factorize now. Now, uh, remember when the coefficient of x squared is 1, in this case, all we can do is just to put x in the bracket like this and then find the values to associate within the brackets, what values to place in over, numerical values to place in over here and there. Now, how do you do that? When I look at the last term, it is negative seven. Now, I'm gonna write over here, uh, negative seven. And then I want to list all the factors of seven, okay? The factors of seven, seven is a prime number, so the factors of seven are, are just one and seven, okay? Why, uh, why? Because one times seven makes seven. Now, let's see. Now, we, we need to um, find, um, uh the values the value over here okay that will make uh, a sum equal to uh, uh negative eight in the list of the factors of seven seven we only have one couple yes we can make negative eight if we if we place in here uh uh the negative sign negative one and negative seven okay we can get negative uh oh excuse me uh, it was supposed to be positive seven here, but we divide by two. Yes, so it's positive seven here. I meant positive seven over here, not negative seven. Now, uh, yes, negative one and negative seven will make negative eight. And of course, negative one times negative seven makes positive seven. That's true. Meaning in the, within the bracket, I can just place in negative one and negative seven. So this means uh, x minus one equal. 
So this means x minus one equal to zero or x minus seven equal to zero. Now from here, we can work out, uh, so for x, x is equal to one or x equal to negative seven, uh, I mean, x is equal to seven. Uh, x is equal to seven. Now we're done. No, we're not completely done yet because remember we're solving for x and y. We're solving the two equations simultaneously. It means when, once we got the values of y, we need to find the corresponding value. When we find the value of x, we need to find the corresponding y value. Now, uh, you can substitute these values, x and y, uh, I mean, these x values into this equation to find uh, y or that equation to find y. You will get the correct answer. But to make yourself much easier, to make yourself the problem much easier, it's better to substitute why you simplify the equation, okay? You can simply substitute over here. I prefer to do that. I'm gonna substitute here because over here, I already made a uh, y subject of the formula, okay? So this is what we're going to do. We we'll substitute there. We we'll see because we are like y equal to uh, 3x minus four. Therefore, uh, if I sub in the values of x, it's gonna be three, x minus four, x is equal to one. Then we have like y equal to uh, negative one. And then over here also, I'll sub in the values of uh, x. Uh, we have like three x minus four. I'll sub in the value of x. So it's gonna be uh, so x is seven over there. And then we get like y equal to, that makes 21 minus four, which is equal to, uh, 17. Thank you. So we have this. This simply means uh, uh, when x is 1, uh, it, it simply means like uh, this is the point of intersection of these uh, two uh, e equations, equation equation 1 and equation 2, where they, they, they both equation meet. Okay. Uh, they meet at this point x, actually, they meet at this point one minus one, one minus one, and at the point uh, seven, 17. Thank you.